Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another great video for you this evening. This is a cool pinball machine. Obviously, this is Gottlieb's 1977 Jet Spin cousin or sister, I guess, to Super Spin, which was the two player version. We've had this one for a while and uh, we've just been messing with it a little bit here and there. And today we finally finished up, so we figured, hey, let's shoot a little video so everybody can see it if they're. Uh, if they haven't seen this one before. This was the, I think, the last game they made before they made, started making their solid state games. They, they kept making EM games though, so it's not the last EM, but I think a month after they made this one, they released their first solid state, which was uh, Cleopatra. So uh, this was late in the cycle of EM. Cool game though. So basically it's got all the bells and whistles that Gottlieb was capable of in the late 70s. So uh, we'll check it out a little bit. It's got cool art. Um, don't ask me to explain any of it, but it's kind of like Silver Surfer type stuff. <laughs> so you've got these people that are uh, almost like comic book characters that are riding these surfboards through the sky. You gotta love the stenciled EM pinball cabinets, right? Check all that out doing their thing it's not in perfect shape but it's in pretty good shape very colorful play field again it's almost like a superhero theme like a comic book theme and then check out that back glass wow so there's kind of like a vortex you know like a spacey thing remember 1977 folks there's a little spacey thing, you know, swirling out. And then uh, they're all doing their thing. So you've got, we'll try to catch everything. You've got all these small characters back here that are surfing around. And if you look, they've all got a tether on the back that goes back down into the hole. So I guess they're tethered to the back of this big ship here is the whole thing that's going on. And so I think you've got this lady here. You got this guy here. You can see that his paint's uh, crazed a little bit over the years. Then you've got this guy here who's really getting down. Paint's flaking a little bit. Cool costume, bro. And you've got this lady here who is flying like most of them, it appears, with their eyes closed. She's doing her thing and looking good doing it. And then you've got this guy here. And on his, you can see that the bottom of the sled has a little design. And then uh, you've got this lady here. Very expressive and well done. Her hand goes over, the, her arm goes over the logo. Gottlieb's Jet Spin. And then you've got this beautiful lady here with nice hair. Looks like she's having the time of her life. That's how they did it in 1977, folks. And then we put a little blinking light because it happened to be right on her rocket, and we thought that looked pretty cool. And then you've got this guy here. Can't really tell what he's doing. Looks like maybe he's fighting or something. I don't know. Another guy over here. Another guy down here, kind of a top-down view. And then you've got this guy here, inexplicably. He kind of looks like Reagan a little bit, don't you think? A little bit. So jet spin. So they're all on little jets, and it, there's a spinning thing in the background. Get it? Jet spin. But I guess that's what's going on. They've all got a tether coming off of it, and it's going to the back of this ship, which maybe fuels it, or maybe since it's in space, so you won't get lost or something. I don't know. I guess that's how the, 
whenever they do spacewalks, they do something similar, right? So the play field does not disappoint. All kinds of cool stuff going on in it. So there's this big kind of arrow pointing the way towards Gottlieb's awesome roto target. If you haven't seen one of those, you got to check that out. It's pretty cool. A couple well coiffed pop bumpers there. <laughs> They're Gottlieb's pop bumper caps are always really cool. And so you've got all kinds of little art things going on. And so uh, you've got this guy up here riding his ship. You got this neat little plastic around the roto target, the metal top that they all have. Um, the plastics are kind of just plain, but it fits the theme. There's so much art on the play field that they just kind of went with patterns on the plastics. You've got this lady here. Got a lady here. They all have interesting uh, kind of. Uh, um, they're at different uh, viewpoints and stuff. And you've got this guy here flying through the pop bumpers because he's cool like that. He's wearing a helmet. <laughs> I guess a couple of them are. But very cool, very creative artwork cool looking machine. This is a good example of creating your own theme and then doing a good job with it, I think. I mean, they came up with a whole new little thing going on on this one. The colors are cool. Alright, so let's read the instructions. We'll see how to play this thing. I mean, I know you can just put the quarter in, shoot the ball, and flip the flippers, but it makes it more fun if you actually know uh, what you're supposed to do to score big points. Alright, jet spin instructions. One, two, three, or four players. Three balls per player. Insert coin and or press credit button to reset machine. Repeat for additional players. Center roto target adds bonus from one to five steps as indicated. Center roto target adds bonus from one to five steps as indicated. Oh, okay. So it says, I don't know what they are talking about. Center, center roto target. Adds bonus from one to five steps as indicated. Hmm. I don't know about that. I think that might be a typo. Now this very target over here, add bonus and spin roto, it does that. Lights bullseye target for special. These uh, instruction cards, we always replace these because they're all screwed up. I think the place we got this from, that's probably a typo. Hmm, mm, mm. I'm going to have to get in touch with those people. Star target value is 500 points. Star target. Let's find that one. Oh, they're talking about on the uh, roto target. Now, I may be wrong. Maybe, uh, maybe it does do what they're saying, but I don't believe so. But the star target is that one on the right, and it spins around etc etc so you get 500 points if you hit it hitting the very target to sixth position lights the bullseye target for special all right so if you hit this very target all the way back you hit that hard enough it says lights bullseye target for special so this is the bullseye target over here it says special and 5000 when lit that's a cool little shot it's kind of hard to make actually though Pop bumpers score 1,000 points. Bonus is scored upon completion of ball in play. Matching last two numbers in score to number that appears on back glass after game's over scores one replay. So that's just the famous match if you look up here. 40 is lit up right now. So if the last two of your score were 40, you would win a free game. Very cool. All right, so we got to figure out about that center roto target. Adds bonus from one to five steps as indicated. Oh, I think they're saying if you hit the center. Let's see here. So if you hit the center, it says it scores ten times the target value. And I know it does that. And when lit, the star target scores special. So if the star target is in the middle 
uh, and that's lit, uh, it'll give you a special, which is a free game or an extra ball, however it's set up. We'll play it a little bit. I don't know. I don't think that they're right about the bonus. Now, you do add the bonus like up here. 500, spin the roto target and add bonus when lit. So as you go through there, like the lit ones, um, it adds to your bonus here. And so like you've got this one lit up. I mean, if you uh, if you hit that one, it gives you the right roto target value. And if that's lit up, you get an extra ball. And then, uh, oh yeah, okay, add bonus and spin roto. Well, I still don't know. We'll see here in a second. And then this one is left roto target value and extra ball when lit. So if you hit the left one with the ball, this lights up and you get that amount. If you hit the middle one, it gives you 10 times that amount. And then there's also this kick out hole up, up here. Center roto target value, same thing. So we'll play it a little bit. We'll see about that. We'll uh, we'll check out and see if they're right about it adding the bonus as much as they say. But I'll uh, be back in just a second with the tripod. All right, jet folks, spin. we're going to play a little bit of jet spin. Let's do it. See that roto target spin? Why is that so cool? quite enough. I'm trying to get better at trying to do skill shots so I don't just send it all the way. Oh! That's cool how you get the, you, you you go in that uh, saucer and it gives you the center roto target value. That was weird. That was weird, folks. Yeah, that's right. Five thousand points. Let me. May I have another? Why? Thank you. Star target scores special when lit. Yes, may I have another? Well, I'm killing it. I am freaking killing it. Mm. My score is so high already, I can almost not believe it. For a guy like me, this is this is impressive. I mean, I'm great at everything, but usually I'm not great at pinball machines. Whoa, did you hear that crack? That crack was not the ball hitting the glass. That crack was me getting a high enough score to win a free game, folks. hundred measly points when I first fixed this one of the uh, <laughs> one of the things that was wrong with it was the ooh got another what was that for oh I matched man I'm killing it when I first got this and I fixed it up after you get done fixing fixing them there's always little nagging little problems like little issues that pop up and then you have to figure it out why is it doing that so one of the things that it was doing was you couldn't score a hundred on the roto target if you hit a hundred it didn't work and uh, there was a little switch on the motor that ended up being a problem but so just now whenever I hit the roto target and scored a hundred points that was a big deal for me it means that I fixed it and it works all right, so my score, this is probably the best score I'm going to get. I got it on the first ball, 94,760. And remember, it rolls over when you get to 100,000. So I almost rolled it. These Gottlieb's had little lights that light up when you get to 100,000. We'll see if I can light the light. Cool game, though. It's just, it's well balanced, even though it's asymmetrical. Like, if you look at it, the layout's different on each side. They don't do that a lot, but uh, 
when they did, sometimes you had some really cool looks. That bottom pump bump, pop bumper, the court, the little ring keeps getting stuck down. I haven't figured out why it does that yet. Why am I still on my first ball? I am, oop, slid it right by me. Now I'm on my second ball. See what I'm saying about the pop bumper ring? See how it's stuck? There we go. Which cheats you out of points, slowly but surely. I want that little red target on the right so I can get an extra ball. Oh, it moved. Oh, I got robbed, folks. This is a high scoring game. I'm doing decent on this one and I'm not even doing that great. There we go. Oh, come on, come on. Tilt. Wah, wah, wah. Hey, I own the machine, people. I don't want to hear nothing about it. Lost my ball, though. There we go. That's a pretty good little bit. That's how I got an extra ball earlier. That red target there gives you an extra ball if it's lit. Very nice. I love that hole too because you get the center value on the roto target every time you land in there. And the center value is times 10. So instead of 400, it's 4,000 right now. And again. you heard again was again me going over 70 to get a free game now it's a two that's not that great so we want to spin that if possible oh we lost it all right 97,520 that's even better let's try it one more game Ah, the roto target's junk right now. 100 points. Oh, that's a cool shot there. 3,000 points. So I want to spin that roto target, which I can do with these in lanes. Oh, can't get it all the way up there. Doesn't have enough oomph to do it. But I got a free ball. That's good. It'll spin it now. There we go. 400. I'll take it. Oh, and then I went through to one where it didn't spin it to save the, the 400. That's cool. Don't spin it. Don't spin it. I want them points. Spun it. Ah. 
So I'm on 200. There we go. Oh, 500. Yeah, buddy. Come on, don't go through the lighted one. Don't do it. Ah. Horrible. Mm, mm, mm. It's all falling apart on me, people. Don't do it. Don't spin it. There we go. Yeah, 5,000 points. Thank you. Whoop, just playing with it. Whoop, still playing with it. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. 48,940. Tell you what, gonna play one more time. I got a whole pocket full of quarters, people. Let's see if we can roll it. I want to roll it. Need to spin it for real because it's at 200. Horrible. There we go. Bam! 4,000 points. Thank you very much. Ah! I was robbed. That out hole is vicious. Spin that sucker. There we go. Now we're on 500. Pop in that hole there. Come on, you can do it. There, come on, you can do it. Oh! I wanted that. Horrible. Horrible. We're on 200 now, which sucks. Man, it keeps getting stuck there almost. Okay, pop in the saucer. Mm, outlane again. Folks, that, that game was so disappointing. I'm going to gift you to one more try. I love these Gottlob chimes. They just sound great. The doom, doom, doom. Awesome. Fantastic. That's, oh, they spun it and made it worse. Whoa, not quite. Spun it. Wham, give me my 3,000. Oh, it's a special. <laughs> Got to have that. I don't remember what it is. Might be a free game. Ah, oh, come on. Not doing all that great this game. Spin it, people. Go ahead and spin it. Go, go up the, the out way. Mmm, horrible. All right. Ball three. Here we go. Lanes are killer, folks. Killer. Well, there you go. That is Gottlieb's Jet Spin. Awesome game. Very fun. But let me let you in on a little secret. If it says Gottlieb, usually it's fun. <laughs> Some people are kind of snobby about it. They want all the new stuff. And, uh, you know, all of the, the newer, like, 90s model Bally and Williams games were fantastic, obviously. But hard to beat a Gottlieb, especially whenever you're talking about games that came out in the 70s. Like these two beautiful cousins right here. Look at this. Got a countdown. Check out that video. It's up on here. And we got a jet spin. You just saw that video. Now it's up on here. Now, by the time you see jet spin, it may have spun off and surfed over to somebody else's house. We may not have it for sale anymore by the time you see this video. But don't fret. We get different games in all the time. So we might have another pinball machine you're interested in, or we may have another arcade game, jukebox, something like that that you're interested in. You can check out everything that we've got available right now on our website at lionsarcade.com. 
or if you're close to us, drive on over and check out the selection in person. We've got a whole building full of arcade games here. Uh, we're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, like I said, we've got stuff everywhere. <laughs> now, uh, you can check out our website at any time, lionsarcade.com. Even if it's years from now, we'll have it all updated. We keep it updated. If we sell it, we take it down. If we get one fixed, we put it up on there. Um, and if you, if you don't want to do any of that, you're not looking to buy an arcade game, you don't live near us, well, that's fine, folks. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube. You've got the subscriber. You'll forget about us, and we don't like being forgotten about. So click the button below that says subscribe, and every time we uh, film another video, you'll be aware of it, and we film videos every week. So we will see you on that next video. Jets Ben, fantastic game.